Djokovic Kut has blown his whistle. Uh, some of the players from both sides take the knee before Will Volks gets the game moving. I thought Volks was outstanding last weekend uh, against Blackburn Rovers. Another performance similar to that, and uh, he won't go far wrong for Sheffield Wednesday today. So uh, we are moving then. The ball immediately drops out of play over on the uh, far side uh, of the uh, pitch. Liam Palmer gets his first touch uh, forward from right full-back here. There's work to do just outside of the corner of the penalty area, and former Blades defender Kieran Clark uh, will manoeuvre it away uh, on the uh, half volley. Obviously had a great confidence booster whilst playing for the uh, Jamaica national team in uh, Copper 24, as uh, it's half cleared away by McNally, who's called into action again, feet firmly rooted to the turf, he heads it clear for the third time he's called into action before his loose clearance is picked up by Barry Bannon who tried to uh, sky it with the outside of his left boot to the far side I've got to be honest for all of the right. usually brilliant passing from Bannon, Come on, let's have a chance. can't for the life of me think what he was doing there but here he comes again and is sautéing forward out to the far side uh, cuts in field on his left boot into ball. the box, looking towards Akin for Maywo who was caught by two in red and white shirts. It was all a little awkward, uh, not really a foul. He uh, goes for a somersault as the ball is whipped away. Yeah, well, it looked as though that ball from Bannon was going to uh, land on his head, but uh, he was blocked by two Stoke defenders. Yeah, it came off the back of Gooch and uh, then ultimately was cleared away. Uh, stranger things have happened at sea, but it's hard to predict this one's going to end at 4-2 either way. As uh, Wouter Berger scoops the ball left-footed high across the middle of the pitch. Uh, Wednesday fans have just realised that it's Ender Stevens and are now booing him as the ball is played back through a central position uh, to Ben Pearson and now Gooch again. Uh, driving uh, Marvin Johnson back, tries to go around the outside of Johnson and he has. He lets fly in the end. Cameron Dawson had to punch the ball away with Ryan Maie uh, bearing down on him. It was a little awkward for the Wednesday goalkeeper but he was able to clear the ball away very effectively indeed Stoke stay on the front foot here Medieris bends in the cross too high for a backpedalling Dawson Liam Palmer goes after it he made final contact but slipped as he tried to clear it up the pitch it goes out of play for a Stokes throw in and all of a sudden Stoke have gone from first gear into second and yet after that throw in retreat towards halfway much to the annoyance of their supporters just to uh, delay proceedings. So, Real watches on. Space there and for now Windass. Josh Windass has acres of space in which to race forward into. Wide it comes to the left-hand side. First time cross from Marvin Johnson. The packed six-yard box. In comes the Deep. corner. Dijon Bernard, downward oh. header. And in the end, it bounced on the turf and straight up. And uh, it's caught by Tommy Simpkin. Well, there's been a moment. John Pearson. Yeah, a moment. He's not going to be able to stop this one unless they go short. Uh, so, uh, corner then to Stoke City. And uh, Bajan Ho goes uh, across to take it from the far side, which is the Stoke City left-hand side. Four or five in red and white, pot mark the Wednesday penalty area. In it comes Josh Lawrence, volleys the ball. Ooh. And in the end, as he made contact with that volley, it goes on the angle, clips off a Stoke player and goes away for a goal kick to Sheffield Wednesday. Well, I'm not entirely sure what he was trying to do there. It, it, wasn't, it didn't, wasn't to me as though he was trying the uh, shot. Seven in attendance, two and a half thousand are Sheffield Wednesday supporters then here. Uh, nobody, I suspect, John Pearson has yet been entertained. <laughs> but there is plenty of time for that yet. Otherwise, we're talking about the fact that you've done, you're have done. you doing the Percy Pud tomorrow. <laughs> uh, the ball will drop on the uh, half volley by uh, Dijon Bernard. Now Marvin Johnson. Things might be opening up a li little Ooh. bit here. Byers nods it Turn, down. Come on. Very good play there by George Byers. On to Windass, 25 yards out and getting nearer to the edge of the box. The angle ball wide to Liam Palmer. He takes a touch. The second to cross. Clipped on by Windass. Byers hits the post. It comes back to Byers from the tightest of angles. And in the end, it's cleared away by Ender Stevens. At last a chance, that was a good one, and George Byers hits the woodwork. Yeah, I mean, I think that was a, it was a tough chance, it wasn't an easy chance, if uh, it was a, you know, a really difficult angle. The goalkeeper actually leaves it, uh, and it hits the outside of the post. I think George Byers is four or five yards, and it's a really difficult uh, one to squeeze past the goalkeeper. Wednesday 
uh, after more points on the road. They've only taken one point, that being at uh, Ellen Road, of course. So one point from the 27 available prior to today. As Stoke City in those red and white shirts oh, come forward. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Well, Will Volks is a judge to have fouled yeah. Bay Jun Ho. Stoke motor forward as Josh Lawrence releases the shot. Cameron Dawson had it covered. The effort from about 25, 30 yards zip past the goalkeeper. No problem for Sheffield Wednesday. And you can probably hear the Stoke fans. I think they're ironic Sarcastic cheers, cheers yeah, yes. Yeah. He has uh, toiled as a uh, Wednesday forward today, Bailey Cadamatri. So Cameron Dawson from the uh, goal kick drives the ball up the pitch from uh, left to right. It will drop onto the chest of uh, Mehdi Yeris, who turns the Algerian scampering away from Barry Bannon. In goes the cross. Maybe a chance here for Bay. John Hun as Cameron Dawson makes a telling block. He shot out from his goal mouth with the South Korean thinking he was about to score as the ball was dispatched goalwards it clattered off the underside of Cameron Dawson and Wednesday get back to clear and uh, a reminder if you weren't with us at the time Bailey Kadamatri who's uh, toiled brilliantly today for Sheffield Wednesday without much luck or indeed success uh, was replaced a couple of minutes ago by uh, Anthony Masaba in goes another Stoke cross Ender Stevens with a scissor kicked attempt blocked Stoke come again here's Mehdi Yeris inside right channel of the penalty area Lyndon Gooch switches the ball onto his left boot ball prodded back to Pearson downward header away by Bambo Diabe Berger helps it wide to the near side. Ender Stevens cross takes a deflection and back pedalling. Cameron Dawson gets it and falls backwards. Given and a penalty. The referee has pointed to the penalty spot. David Coote made no hesitation and says penalty. And he's suggesting that a Stoke player was dragged in the build up to that. Well, Hold it's on. one we're going to have to see again, John Pearson. Well, I never saw anything. I was following the ball. What he has given the penalty for is a challenge on Josh Lawrence, who shoved Deshaun Bernard out of the way. And I think Akin for Maywell got him in the back, maybe. Sunderland and QPR more recently. The wind blowing furiously. Can Cameron Dawson keep the scoreline locked at nil-nil on Football Heaven on BBC Radio Sheffield in a game of nothing? Stoke have a penalty. Maye, the tall centre forward, stands over it. He steps up and it's saved by Cameron Dawson yes, on the follow up. He's skied away by Barry Bannon. Brilliant save by Cameron Dawson, who pounced down to his left hand side to parry the ball towards the edge of the six yard box. And there was Barry Bannon yeah. to scoop it away. Vital, vital by Bannon. Stoke take the corner, attacking the dead ball line. And it's cleared away again, Bannon is blocking. And Cameron Dawson, well, he's earned his stripes as he, he has. Cameron right. Dawson. Uh, back to Stoke. Under the floodlights here in the Potteries on a chilly day. Mercifully, the rain has stayed away for the uh, confines of the match so far. Not that it needed any more to uh, make this particular game worse. As the ball is fired in! And it dropped to... Ryan Maye, as he made contact on the edge of the six-yard box, it was straight at Cameron Dawson, right-footed. It swirls, nodded away by Marvin Johnson. Here's uh, Jedi Gassimer, who tried to take it forward but overran the ball. Wednesday get it back through Bannon. Deshaun Bernard trots forward here. Smith, the intended target, but Rose digs the ball out of his feet as it dropped into him. It was a fairly simple clearance. Final ten minutes of play left for here at uh, Stoke, plus any added extras. Gassimer on the overlap, looking for Smith. And in the end, the ball is very awkwardly deflected behind. And Wednesday have a corner. Oh, that was so, so lucky for Stoke City. That ball's coming from the left-hand side. He's completely missing it. It could have gone anywhere. I, I thought it was going to end up in the net. It must have just gone... As Dawson skies it, anywhere will do, under no real pressure. Ihekwa nudges Bay Jun Hun out of the way midway through his own half, and now Vox. Vox takes control, busily looks forward, realises there's nothing on, and it's turned back. Now Ihekwa at walking pace to Bannon. 
Back to Ihekwa, who loses out, and here's Bay John Hunt into the penalty area. He goes down, and in the end, goal mass scramble. The ball is scrambled behind, and it will be a corner. Nothing more. Nothing more, John Pearson. Well, he was definitely looking for it. So Chesterfield 5-1 then and heading through. Blades leading 1-0. Uh, Rotherham 2-1 down to Swansea. The Blades are leading Brentford by uh, a goal to nil. No change to the scoreline at the uh, Madstad where it's 1-1 between uh, Reading and Barnsley. No goals in weather-affected conditions in the northwest between Accrington and Donny. Wednesday give the ball away. Out it comes to the edge of the box and then the shooting opportunity from Key Yana Hoover. He was... 20 yards out on the angle from the left, hit it right-footed. Cameron Dawson saves at the near post. Yeah. Barnsley lead 2-1, nil-nil, John Pearce. Yeah, decent effort there. Cameron Dawson right behind it, no problem for him. So Simpkin will place the ball on the edge of the, uh, the six-yard box. It's hammered high at the middle of the pitch by the young goalkeeper. Wesley beaten to it by, by Will Vox. Now here's an opportunity. And here's an opportunity for Sheffield Wednesday. Yes! Yes! Get it and there! Wednesday has scored deep into second half at a time. And it's Anthony Masaba who latched onto a midfield mistake and went through in quick fire time to fire the ball past Stoke City's young goalkeeper for a magic moment at the end of a turgid game and Sheffield Wednesday are just a couple of minutes away from three huge points here as Anthony Masaba is mobbed by his teammates it's Stoke nil, Sheffield Wednesday won a great goal, it was a great goal you know that was Ten seconds of quality that we've not seen in this game. But if we go away with a three points, oh, tiny shoelaces now. <laughs> well done. I told you, didn't I? We're on sho he is. Listen, if you're just tuning in, you're wondering what we're talking about. We've been on shoelace watch all day. To be honest, at times it was the only real highlight in the match until the penalty save and Anthony Wasaba. He smashes it forward. It's dragged out of the air by the goalkeeper, Simkin. Forward it goes by Simkin, beaten by Masaba just a couple of minutes ago. Wednesday on for a dramatic win in a horrible game and they might get a second oh, as Smith no. is played through. There's no but need to uh, do that. He won't get there. Back to Simkin again. All eyes on the referee. Up the pitch. Palmer strong arms his opponent out of the way and wins the header. And that is that! Sheffield Wednesday get their first away win of the season. Boy, it's not been pretty, but who cares? Right now, it will feel priceless. Anthony Masaba ghosting through the Stoke back line from 30 yards to fire the ball in.